Hello nieces, hello nephews, it's your Uncle Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel where we do unbiased price action analysis. Alright, as I mentioned yesterday, as long as above this trend line we are bullish on the SPY and I mentioned we, wish, we should turn bearish when we finally break down that trend line. As you guys can see, the dip bias shows some follow through. This red line right here is my 5 DMA, 5 daily moving average. Uh, it's one of the moving averages I like to use. I don't really talk about it much, but uh, it's it's one of the tools. And, and one thing I do notice that every time we broke down that 5 daily moving average and we recapture it, it has led to um, some new highs um, so far. And once again, we recapture that 5 daily moving average, okay? So today it closed at uh, 516.7. So that makes the next pivot high around 518. And if that clears... Don't argue with the price action. New all-time highs is in play. All right, guys. I have support once again at 516, 514, 512.5. I didn't 511, guys. This orange uptrend line of 2024 is sloping up still. It's around 511.2-ish now, which is just a few cents off of my uh, my macro level field level. I don't have it up for some reason. Where is my macro level field level? Anyways, 511, remember that level please add it to your charts below that level that's when i would feel a lot more comfortable being bearish otherwise i'm bullish and false breakdown setups would be the trade setups to go to all right guys does that make sense short quick and simple and sweet we understand all right good triple q i mentioned to you guys above 439 be bullish below 439 be bearish okay now when it was below 439 it did drop down to 436.4-ish, decent for a level-to-level -level move, but we had that intraday false breakdown setup, and it bounced, cleared 439, cleared 441, and end of day, it closed above 443, guys. That is pretty bullish, intraday at least. Now, if tomorrow can stay above 443, today's breakout stays intact, keeping and putting. 445, 446.5, 448, and 450 in play for the new all-time highs, okay? Now... Obviously, you don't want to short unless we get a false breakout setup. So, 443, 441, and 439 are the support levels once again to watch. And if we can break it down, we should get a nice level-to-level -level move to the downside. 437, 435.4, and 434. Play it level-to-level. -level. It's the safest way. As far as swing trading goes, the overall trend is still bullish. False breakdown setups are still the way to go unless we get the false breakout setups. I would need to see below 4. 39 and 435.4 to be bearish in favor of lower low okay guys triple nope this nvda got a big bounce today on nvda okay i got some new fib levels from friday's high down to monday's low all right it's gapping up in the aftermarket i have a support at 923.4 and then support at 919 okay 923.4 and 919 okay those levels must fail to trigger a move to the downside pull back with 907.8 in play that is a fib level and below that you we should get a deeper pullback down to 900 and 892-ish all right i would stay bullish above 923.4 overall uh at 907.8 because that was the um, official level that both cleared on the daily chart we could stay bullish above that. False breakdown setups would be the way to go. But if it's going to not pull back and just go up higher, it's going to have to clear the next resistant level, which is at 928 and 930. If those levels clear, we could bounce all the way up to 945 plus and maybe back to the previous all-time high around 974. So guys, wait and look to trade unbiasedly to react. And Tesla overall still choppy, okay? We did get a... a a low 172.4 low intraday. We had an intraday false breakdown setup that gave Tesla a nice bounce to the upside. But for me to be bullish on the daily chart, it still needs to clear uh, those resistant levels at 180, 181.5, and 183.7. If it does, then I would favor a deeper bounce or a bigger bounce to the upside. Okay. And as far as being bearish, we need that daily chart close below 175. Otherwise, we are still consolidating and the market makers are looking to trap both bulls and bears. So trade with the traps. IWM, it pulled back a little bit and well, it bounced when it got close to the 203-ish level. And for me to trust that bounce, once again, it needs to clear resistant levels 
206, 207.5. If it does, upside 209, 211 incoming, okay? For me to be bearish, got to break down. Finally break down that 203 is level. Serving as a buy zone. So if you can break it down, that would be a decent win for the bears putting 201.5 in play. And below that would be a breakdown of the trend line putting bears in control. Uh, yeah, low, overall consolidating on Apple. However, it did, you know, bounce a little bit. Retest the macro level, fib level, that yellow line I have right there around 170. Uh, 0.8-ish. Didn't quite test it, but we still got buying pressure. Not quite. It didn't invalidate the false breakdown setup of the 170 level. All right. So both still have a shot at more upside, but it's still they still got to clear 173.5 and 175 to put 176.5 or higher in play. I would switch back to bearish if we can break down 172 and 170. That's when I would switch back to bearish and favor lower lows. AMD, it cleared a FIB level at 202. As long as above it, stay uh, bullish. Stay bullish above 202. All right, 205 and 207 clears. 209 and 211 incoming with 213 and 214.6 in play. I would probably lean bearish below 202 and 200. And I would favor a bounce or a drop down to 197 and 194. Below 194, definitely a deeper pullback incoming all the way down to one. 90 all right amazon recaptured that trend line i had stay bullish above 174 follow through would be to clear 177 to put new all-time highs in play if you want to be bearish watch the breakdown of 174 for a false breakout setup to put 171.5 and 169 gap fill back in play all right guys outside daily candle right here today's range was bigger than yesterday's range outside this is a bullish one all right, follow through, bullish follow through would be to clear uh, 612, 614, and 616. If we can clear those levels, that's bullish. And we can bounce all the way up, possibly up to uh, the 620 or 625 range, okay? Support is at 6, uh, 610. If it can fail, maybe we'll get a pullback back to the downside. Maybe I'll go back down and test the 600 level, all right? Google. It's retesting that downtrend line. It needs to clear 140 tomorrow to put 142.3 or higher in play. And that could possibly put a bottom in if it can clear this trend line. All right. If it break down 138, we could get a pullback. And if we pull back and this trend continues, we could get a lower low all the way down, possibly down to 129.4, 128, or maybe 126.4. All right, guys. It's got to get above 140 to be bullish. Microsoft also tested its down trend line. If it wants to break it, got to clear 416 uh, to put 417.2, 419, and 420.8 in play. And above that would be new all-time highs, okay? I'll trust the rejection when a support fails, okay? 414 and 412 are support. If those levels fail, 409 and 46 are back in play. We could get a lower low. Here is Meta. Got a bounce as well. Stay bullish above 498.5. Bullish fall through would be to clear 502.5. If it does, 506 or higher is in play. If we drop and break down 497, 493.7 is in play. And below that would be bearish. This could be a lower high and we could drop a lot lower down to 486 or even lower than that. All right, guys. And here is Bitcoin. Trying to break down that 71.7K level. If it does, that's a false breakout setup. We did get a bounce off on a previous FIB level as well. So below 71.7K and 69.3K, I would favor a pullback, all right? I'm going to give the bulls the benefit of the doubt as long as 69.3 holds, but they're going to have to clear 71.7 and 73.1 as resistance. It's going to have to clear if they want more upside, okay? Otherwise, 73.1 to 69 71 uh 73.1k and 69.3k is a chop range okay my lean would be whatever the price action breaks up to okay above 73.1k bullish below 69.3k is bearish and here's dog pool level once again coming in around that 511 level guys all right bullish above bearish below it dog pool is aligning with my chart analysis isn't, isn't that amazing all right, so SPY is overall bullish. Triple Q is bullish. IWM is bearish. 
Tesla is bullish. NVDA is bullish. Still seeing bullishness, guys. Oh, I covered IWM already. Apple, hey, Apple's bearish. Apple's bearish. AMD is bullish. Netflix is bullish. Google is bullish. Google is go with the L is bullish. Microsoft is bullish. Meta is bullish. And Beetle is bullish. Mara. Of course, it freaking malfunctions. All right. Sorry, guys. It is what it is. If you guys want more content from Uncle Charters, definitely join my Discord. Intraday analysis, I got you and all that happy stuff. Join the Discord and uh, come say hello. Otherwise, have a great evening. Peace.